Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my Angular course. In the previous video, we have seen about the services, injecting a service into another service, right? And in this video, we will see how we can use the services for the cross component communication. Okay, yeah. How we can communicate the components using the services as an intermediate. Okay, previously in the videos, we have seen that in order to communicate with the components right in order to communicate with the components uh, we need to emit an event output emitter using event emitter and we need to catch that event in the uh, other component right now in this in the service we can have we can do it in a very simpler way so that we can uh, we can remove that all headache headache code and all those things we can remove it for example see if I update any status here, okay. So if I update the status, so if I press set active, set inactive, some some status if I am updating here, I need to send it to this add user component. So that means here in this app component.ts, if you go into this app component.ts, okay. So whatever the thing I am updating here, for example, using user component.ts. So here, whatever I am updating the status, I need to I need to receive it in the add user component okay add user component so previously how we will be doing that one if we update here anything we will be emitting that event and we will be uh, using that new event emitter we will add the rate output new event emitter and we will be dot emit we will be emitting that event and we need to catch the team event in here in this app component here we need to catch that event in the app user so we will be writing a method something like updated status or something like this and we will be executing that event uh, we will be executing a method in the app.component.ts and we are and we will be sending that data to this app add user as an input property so in this way we will be able to reach to the uh, send the data from app user to the app add user okay so in the intermediate app component.html it will be maintaining that one so in order to sending this all the data like that we can simply use the service and we can send the data okay so how we can send the data we will see now here in this user.component.ts update status is there right so whenever whenever the user is updated so we are updating a status here now we can go to the user.service.ts and here you can create a variable something like status updated okay is equal to we can write it new event emitter okay you can write a new event emitter which should be imported from the angular core and it it it, it is it will be holding a data string type of data okay we are we are we have used a new property that is status updated it is an event emitter now when we will be updating that event so whenever the user dot component dot ts whenever the user updates the status we need to catch the data so here in this update status user service we can go to the user service and we can update the status so here i can write this dot status updated dot we can we will be emitting the data so we will be sending here the status okay so we have emitted the data so now whenever the user clicks on that uh, status thing will be uh, whenever the clicks here whenever he updates the status of the user so we will be emitting the status now we need to catch this status so where we need to catch this status here in the add user components why because we our requirement is to get the data to the add user component so here i can go to this add user component and here automatically user service is injected so in this ng on init i can write that this dot user service um, this dot user service dot status updated we can get that variable and status updated whenever you emit the data status updated it will return an observable so we will be learning about the observable in the coming videos so remember that it we return say observable so the observable if you want to catch that observable we need to use the subscribe okay dot subscribe we will be getting the data and here subscribe will be a function data and we can do the alert of data okay so see, that's it simply finished and now i can go here and if i refresh the and if I click on this one, I will be getting a data C. I clicked on set inactive, I am getting the inactive. Now, if I click on set active, I will be getting the tag 2. If I click on set inactive, I will be getting the inactive. 
so in this way we can use the services as a component communication also so without using this e, uh, event emitting and catching that one in the parent co parent component and sending it to the child component so in between this one uh, cross component communications we can use the services to make the communication between the cross components very easily okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video so that i will try to give the reply and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you